Nordstrom's a classy place. They don't get paid that much, they but don't. it is very hard to get that job. Really? Because I talked, I talked to a, a Nordstrom guy one time. I used to talk to him. I'm like, so what? I'm like, how the fuck do you end up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Right. Well, I was so curious because I'm like, this isn't like being a mall Santa. No. You know, and he's like, no, it's it was fucking very hard to get this job. That's hysterical. Yeah. What's the what hoops does he have to jump through? I don't remember. It was this was already like you know I was a teenager. I was right. working at the mall and and yeah. I, I just you were hanging out with him afterwards in his car. Exactly in the well, parking lot. It's weird because I, I I you know it's your memory kind of gets jumbled up, but I. F- and I know that it's impossible because I used to shit at the Sears. Right. You That's know, where they had a the good bathroom. They had a good bathroom. Yes. No, I mean it. And, uh, and, and which I, mall is this for the listeners? Lake Forest. Lake Forest. Yeah. And I would go shit at the Sears, but then it's like maybe it wasn't even a Nordstrom's because now I'm having like, now it may have been just a pianist mm-hmm. at a restaurant yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that I went to one time. Because it's and like he was lying to yeah. try and molest. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I never because they don't have a pianist at Sears, and I no, it was certainly de- not. I was definitely shitting at the Sears. Mm, interesting. You know, um, was it in the bathroom at Sears? It was. <laughs> yeah, it was are. in the Craftsman's Craftsman's Tool Aisle, <laughs> which is another thing they don't have at Sears anymore. Oh, really? That mm-hmm. was the coolest part of Sears. Yeah. Because it's some shitty store. Mm-hmm. As a kid, you're like, this store sucks dick. It's the, not as good as the other ones. The craftsman. And then you take up. a right turn. It's like, oh, this is a fucking Home Depot now. This is fucking yeah, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not, but it's not as scary as Home Depot. Yeah. As a little kid, you were scared it's big. Sears, you understand a department store. Yeah. A department store, a child runs wild. You hide in between the little things. Yeah. You know, you've probably had some nice fucking sarku japan i have another yeah another early memory of being and i don't even know what mall it was because it was had to be somewhere in virginia because i remember being with my grandmother Mm -hmm. and then um we went to the mall and it's like this is one of those things it's like did something happen i don't know (laughs) because it's 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 hard to explain but i remember being I remember being in the mall and then going into like a stock room thinking it was a dressing room and it was like <laughs> oh, it was no. a room I shouldn't be in. <laughs> oh no. And then um <laughs> and there was like the walls were like some kind of like it was just like a weird red red and mauve color scheme. It mm-hmm. was just sort of like visually offensive. Yeah. And then that's it. That memory ends. And then I remember being in, um, and now you have just scent de- memory. It's a man's cologne. A defensive driving class. I mean, watching a video. <laughs> and in the video, <laughs> this was years later. So this is a decade later. In the video, they're, yeah. they're explaining how anti lock brakes work. And um, they're like, why you sh- or maybe you should, like, this is prior to anti lock brakes. I forget the point of the video, but it's like if you're hydroplaning, you're on ice, you should pump the brakes or something. Right. So it shows the guy pumping the brakes. But. It's a shot of like I don't know like a the 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 floor area the driver's side floor area of like a uh, I don't know like a Cutlass Sierra or mm-hmm. something, and it had the same kind of red. There was like a red velvet interior to the mm. thing, and it, there was something that was like, oh, this is <laughs> something's wrong. <laughs> God damn, dude! And I have no idea what it was, mm. and but it was just one of those things. How where, old were you at that mall the first time? I don't know. It must have been like four. Uh, uh, ro Yeah. <laughs> four or five. I don't think... Some anything. gay man in a velvet tuxedo sucked your dick? <laughs> I don't think... Because I feel like those are the kinds of things... You, I don't believe in like repressed memories. I yeah. do believe in like inexplicable emotional trauma. Mm-hmm. That's like, you know... Because it's like there's different levels of trauma. Yeah. You no, could just, be, you could just yeah. be misplaced in the mall for a second. Totally. And as a four-year-old... Yeah. You're so scared. I remember going into a bathroom. And then a kind stranger promises to take you to your grandma. I remember going into a bathroom one time. And have you ever seen those bathrooms in older buildings where they have the round sink with the pedal? Yes. You know, the first time I saw one of those, it would, sca- it would horrify me. Because <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I went in the bathroom and I was like, what the fuck is this machine? It was like something out of nightmares. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm trying to think of like shit that scared the fuck out of me as a little ass kid. I used to have this recurring nightmare that I would be in like um in like school when I was a kid and then but the school always had an additional wing like mm-hmm. a a secret wing mm-hmm. and then there was always an element of like you know your clothes are missing or something sure. like that or you you know you don't have your homework or something 
But then I would go into the bathroom, I need to use it. And then the bathroom would be all just like sort of like, you know, the way like, um, like at one of those like refineries or like where there's just pipes, the mm-hmm. floor is just all these weird pipes and there's no, like, I don't know how to use any of these pipes mm. and they all kind of just like interlock and you can't use the bathroom. Yeah. But that was like a, that was like a recurring nightmare. I Damn. I don't remember any of my fucking nightmares as a little ass kid. Really? Not really. I think I spent so much time in my subconscious. I was you know, scared of the one the thing. The theater of the mind. The theater of the mind, of yeah. course. <laughs> I, remember, I remember one time going to my mom, and it was the fir- I was like three, or I was like four, and I had a memory of being two, and my brother's just being born. And, and then you were looked, molested by a guy in a velvet tuxedo. And then a guy in a velvet tuxedo, and then he came through and he sucked my It'd be four-year-old funny if we were both we were abducted by a, a pedophile. <laughs> Just the, they're calling yeah. him the the Maryland child rapist, <laughs> and we were both molested. And then the guy's driving around. And he's like, "Well, you suck my father's dick." <laughs> we're just like, That's the only explanation. In, in, in dog kennels, yeah. <laughs> we're like, "What the fuck?" And then we're yeah. just dropped off wherever. Right. And then uh, and he he threw a donut in the back seat, and I got most of it. And you've been you've been mad about it the yeah. whole our whole lives. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, no, I don't know where the parody song thing came from. <laughs> I do. Sometimes I wonder if I was molested because my dad, my parents freaked, would never let me sleep over anywhere. Mm-hmm. And they would freak out if I was missing for even like yeah. a fucking hour. Like in Greece one time, I just kind of went and played video games and got lost in an arcade. Yeah. And I told my dad I was going to be with my cousin. But I was like, don't worry, I'll stay here. I lied to her. Right. They're worried that cool. you like belong to a senator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just some guy in a robe. Yes, yes. Yeah, you an like Athenian a, senator. Yeah, he just has you in a in a bird cage, yeah. completely nude. <laughs> he's so gross. He's at the the Capitol and they're passing laws. <laughs> they're they're, they're right. voting into his ass. They're vo- <laughs> <laughs> for using him as a trumpet to announce the vote. <laughs> um, but. I rem- and he was just, and I lied to my cousin and told her my dad was cool with me being at the arcade, so he, I was just alone. Yeah. And then my dad was so, my family was so freaked out that I was gone for like, I'm not even, I was only gone for like an hour, just mm-hmm. playing video games, like it's not a big deal. And he freaked out, and he wouldn't let me sleep over anywhere, and he was like, you never know, there's uh, there's sick people out there. So some- yeah. And I was a really cute kid. I yeah. was adorable. So I'm thinking I might have gotten my little ass fucked or sucked or something, and I, I don't even know about it. I remember being um, with my mom and my grandma, and we were walking through a parking lot, and I, like, went a different way. Mm-hmm. And it was like, I don't know why I did. Yeah. You know, I was, like, maybe 10, 15, 20 feet behind them or something. And there was, like, there was like a, a tunnel, and then you could go over it. And I like went over right. it. And then I get to the end of the tunnel, and they're not there. And then, like, I just went to the car and waited at the car, and eventually they came back to the car, and they're like, where the fuck were you? you right, know? right, right. And I was like, I just walked the other way, and they're like, you know, and then my mom was like, you can't do that. I don't know. It's probably like eight. Yeah. She was like, you can't do that. Growing up, she's like, you remember Jenny or whatever? And, like, like so my grandma, my grandma was like, oh, yeah. You know, she's like, my friend Jenny, she, she wandered away, and then they found her in the woods three weeks later, and she had been raped. <laughs> and she... <laughs> And she was never the same again. She was ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. So I wonder. Sometimes I truly wonder. But yeah. I guess we'll never know. Mm-hmm. I guess we'll never know. And the reality is my mom would have loved it if I was raped. <laughs> she would that would have made her day. Oh my god, she would have had a she would have had a story mm. for the rest of her life. Yeah, just telling her friend just at the post office in line. My son was raped, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you using this pen? Yeah. My that, son was raped. My son was raped. <laughs> That pen reminds me. Mm-hmm. My son had a pen in his ass. Just a bumper sticker that says my son was raped. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting people off in traffic. <laughs> Did you see the bumper sticker? <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But I persevered. I, I got made through it through. It. Yeah. Now, my son, of course, done. Yeah. Trash. Dog shit. He's ruined. But I have mm-hmm. survived. And, and I'm the I'm the president of the the Holocaust didn't happen fan club. Yeah, now. and now I'm the leader <laughs> of the pack. 